We were very, very close, yeah. Um, I worked very closely with his mental health team. Marcia Riggs' brother Sean was a musician and he had schizophrenia. In 2008, he was arrested after kicking out at passers-by. He was held in the prone position for more than seven minutes and died of a heart attack. What should have happened is they should have linked all the 999 calls and taken to a hospital where he would have received the medical emergency that he needed. Instead, he received a death sentence because they drove him at speed in the back of a police vehicle in a cage to Brixton Police Station. Five police officers were eventually cleared of misconduct in 2019. Sean Riggs' death inside this police station is one of those highlighted in a new report by the charity Inquest. It found that black people are seven times more likely than white people to die after being restrained by the police. The charity says police data has only shown deaths in police custody when a person's actually under arrest or in a cell. So deaths like Daly and Atkinson's weren't counted. In 2016, police were called after the former professional footballer was seen behaving erratically. They tasered him for 33 seconds, then kicked him in the head. One officer was jailed for eight years for manslaughter. Deaths are very much at the sharp end of a continuum of racist and discriminatory policing that we've seen in official reports and home office data from stop and search to use of force and use of tasers, just as an example. When Nusrit Metab quit London's Metropolitan Police three years ago, she was the force's most senior woman from an ethnic minority. She says a racist culture is behind the disturbing statistics of black people dying after contact with the police. They have to acknowledge that racism may play a part and really investigate it rather than dismiss it. And that comes with more training of understanding what racism is. It seems that that's a blockage, it's a barrier. But that barrier and blockage and lack of training and understanding is then leading to lives being lost on the street in such a tragic way. The UK Home Office issued a statement saying we expect police to take a zero tolerance approach to racism within their workplace, adding that any use of force by police must be lawful, proportionate and necessary. Critics say only tougher punishments can make that a reality. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera, London.